Youth is a time uh, full of promise and aspiration as well as energy. Now, between childhood and adulthood, youth is when men and women are most eager to secure for their families and to contribute to their families, community, and society in general. But given society's uh, challenges, women and young people in most cases haven't been able to realize this kind of aspiration. Now, experts at the UG Economic Forum have called for the breaking of barriers that bar women and and young people from realizing their aspirations to stimulate economic growth. Uganda's economy is slowly recovering from the shocks of COVID-19 and to experts, investment in women would trigger a GDP growth of 2% on average. But structural bottlenecks that deter women from accessing capital that would resuscitate their businesses continue to exist. And so these barriers need to be addressed in a very systematic way so that mm -hmm. um, over the years, once they are removed, then uh, women are empowered to gain access into those opportunities and that unlocks their potential for greater, um, uh, greater financial uh, liberation. While this is the case, actors are not seated, but rather developing products that target such groups. Let's come up with a a non-conventional collateral system where uh, youth can access money without a lot of what? Collateral requirement, even women. So we came up with a policy which we started implementing last year, around February, and it's really helping a lot. Experts also acknowledge that growing the economy requires deliberate investment in certain areas, mostly so in women and the youth. It makes it easier to, 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 to attract investors. We, we, we have also uh, 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 put in place uh, ICT. Uh, as you are aware, we have the Ministry of ICT and the NITAU, uh, uh, National Technology Authority, to try and make sure that we have internet. Aids to trade such as insurance carry so much weight to the plight of investment that requires the risking. Uh, we have gone to the ground. Uh, probably to the Mutua 1C, if I may say, to see that uh, we design policies that uh, are customized to the low income earners. The taxman, on whose shoulders lays the responsibility of collecting close to 30 trillion shillings for this current financial year, strategies to collect it from businesses have been streamlined. Uh, two is that we are trying to ensure that we reach out to the people, I get as many people on the tax bracket because this revenue is needed. Highlighting the role of the media, George Gozi, the deputy group CEO of Next Media, called upon the relevant stakeholders to act on the ideas provided by the panelists. Our request is that after all this is said and done, uh, a paper be developed and presented with some of the ideas that have come out so that we can see how we can gauge ourselves in the next 12 months. The Minister of Finance in charge of investment and privatization, Evelyn Anita, made a show to crown the biggest economic conversation, highlighting the government commitment to uplifting the living conditions of both women and the youth. The government has established a place at Namanve with the partnership of with, the, well, uh, with, with China. Yuri has that project, you can just walk through that door. If they fail to give you, you come and tell me. And as the biggest economic conversation in the land gets to a close, there is hope that all these ideas do not just remain on platforms, but are implemented such that Uganda becomes the economic powerhouse that it has always aspired to be. Hakim Wampamba, NBS, live at nine.